Just a few days after virtually announcing the resignation of Leonard Ellerby from Mayweather Promotions, Floyd Mayweather has just admitted that Leonard Ellerby didn't lead Mayweather Promotions out of his own will, but was sacked by him. Thank you, Ray, as the founder of Mayweather Promotions. Floyd Mayweather surely has the power to hire and fire whoever he wishes, however. One person no one would have expected him to make such a decision on was Leonard Ellerby on a fight you that's that's well you know you my partner CMD this isn't only because he was the chief executive officer, but because of how long he had been with Floyd Mayweather even before the establishment of Mayweather promotions, Leonard Ellerby has been one of Mayweather's close confidants since the very beginning of Floyd Mayweather's boxing career we've been through a lot together you know last fight I said some things about hence it was almost unpredictable that such a split would happen anytime soon perhaps with the exception of Leonard Ellerby be establishing his own boxing promotional team Floyd Mayweather founded Mayweather Promotions in 2007 after exercising a provision on his contract with Bob Arum in top rank that allowed him to become a free agent for the price of $750,000 my friend but I want to apologize for you know him Mayweather Promotions also promotes forms of live entertainment including sporting events live musical and theatrical events and film and television productions Floyd then appointed Al Heyman who later founded PBC as his advisor while Leonard Ellerby sadly according to Mayweather's live session, his two confidence backstabbed him, and he had to do away with them. Thank you, Ray, and like to thank the MGM Premier Boxing Champions. You don't stay closer to someone I introduced you to than me, Floyd Mayweather said me, and we'll have had so many wins together, and I never expected that he'd do this. An enemy's friend is an enemy. You don't stay neutral in such situations. You stay loyal. I had to let him leave. He was more focused on another team, while his team suffered pass. Okay, so one thing about this boxing, you can't skip steps. From Mayweather's claims, it wasn't just about his association with Finn Davis, which Mayweather believes shouldn't even happen. In the first place, however, Mayweather Promotions isn't having its best time as there are no real superstars there anymore in 2017. You know what Tank was doing. Tank became world champion, hence more efforts are needed from the chief executive officer to ensure Mayweather Promotions hits back its honor and promotes the fighters well again. Sadly, Leonardo Lerby instead spent that time promoting Jim Davis for professional reasons while his team suffered this is enough to provoke any founder. And undoubtedly, what Floyd Mayweather went on lived to do was to justify his decision to fire Leonardo Lerby from the team. Leonardo Lerby has chosen a fighter over a team and eyes are fixed as to where it'll lead to tell him again, though when thousand times the appointment of Richard Scherr is expected to fill in the void opened by Leonardo Lerby over the past few years. However, another argument on Leonardo's side that may work against Floyd was the fact that Floyd was the first to keep the door open for Ben Davis as we saw when he fought Ryan Garcia last year before that fight Jiv and Tank Davis had parted ways with Floyd Mayweather promotions. However, Mayweather was seen by the ringside, and even in the ring supporting Tank Davis, of course. This made it feel like he was much welcome in the family, until the latest feud was sparked between Floyd Mayweather and Jim Davis. Should the door have been shut earlier, Leonard Ellerby wouldn't have been involved in any deals, but the claims on X that your fight was cancelled the last couple of weeks, you know, you know he the one told Frank that but for Leonard Ellerby to suddenly shut the door against one of the biggest fighters in the world, and the biggest fighter to ever signed for Mayweather Promotions and one that could bring him some good ideas and cash flow all because of a beef that he wasn't a part of didn't seem right to Leonard Ellerby, who kept his real relationship with Tank diligently as for Floyd Mayweather and Tank Davis it remains a controversial matter that has raised many eyebrows all around the world of boxing. No, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning for it. He told Frank he was given Frank tips the few between Floyd Mayweather and Van Davis continues and it might take a while for it to be done now and and not only has made the fans eager to know more and get updates on this situation, but but it also has taken some victims along the way just like it happened with Leonardo. Ellerby, the now former CDO of Mayweather Promotions, has been somehow in the middle as a situation, which led to his departure as cash. Mayweather officially announced Herb's departure on Instagram on Thursday, and now his role in the company has been assumed by the former CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, Richard Scherr, while there were rumors of the same thing, happened the update came as a shock to everyone Ellerby has been Floyd Mayweather's close confidant since the beginning of his boxing career but things appear to have changed as Mayweather promotions has fallen in recent years. Amid all this Floyd's uncle Jeff Mayweather has shed light on how Ellerby handled the tumultuous relationship between Davis and Mayweather and at Mayweather promotions um seems like that's happened a couple times over the course of the years but because I remember years ago, I was thinking Richard Scherr was going to take over but now PR is happening at thoughts on LB making his way out, while Mayweather has often slightly criticized Tavis. Since the boxer left his promotions company things had gotten so bad that Davis had even started rumors about Floyd being stuck in Dubai, while the duo began openly bashing each other on social media platforms. 
So in response to the question, Tiff acknowledged that it was in fact extremely difficult for Lee to deal with the situation. Of course, Leonard is very wrapped up in a PBC type stuff here with this promotion, and everything that they do do you think that played any part in a however he noted many times friends want you to choose a side. However, it seems that Ellerby chose to be smart with his actions, as Jeff said, but I mean, Leonard is smart enough not to take sides and just stayed in business. I don't think there was no, like I said, I don't think there was no animosity or anything, because even, even Floyd it always spoke as you know no i guess it could have played a part i mean if you are in between promotions and you're working with one and you're not working with the other i mean yeah so i mean but i don't think there was no like i said i don't think there was no animosity or anything jeff clarified that herb's reluctance to part ways with Heyman caused the split between mayweather and leonard friends want you to make pick sides but I mean, Leonard is smart enough not to pick size, and he just kept it business. It's because even Floyd always spoke, as you know, he would always say that you know when all Heyman has fights, you know, because he can always get his fighters on all Heyman's shows. Although Jeff revealed no animosity between the duo, and both are on friendly terms, it will be interesting to see how Mayweather promotions perform under Richard Schieffer in the boxing world. That should be a good fit. I mean, do you think that's a signal that you know they are going to like really put their foot back in there and then try to to really elevate Mayweather promotions? Oh, of course, I think so. Also, Jeff Mayweather spoke about an internal crisis that could possibly have incited the split between Floyd Mayweather, Jerome Leonard Ellerby. He claimed many young fighters in Mayweather promotions are complaining that they aren't fighting as Leonard Ellerby spends more time with PBC, neglecting his primary assignment. But to be honest, I'm not really surprised. I mean, do you think Richard Stair would take on this role if he didn't really plan on elevating the promotion? Well, I mean, I think that I'm starting to hear a lot of young fighters say they don't fight, and who is to blame for this? I had no idea Jeff Mayweather said with worried eyes. So basically, if you can't get work, you have to do something. Meanwhile, Cher is mulling over the possibility of taking over his old position. Cher, who began his career in the banking sector, worked with Oscar de la Hoya and Golden Promotions from 2000 to 2016, and then started the Ring Star Sports and Pelham Boxing Promotions with mixed results. However, since he has promoted some big pay-per-view fights with Mayweather, he accepted the job while being in the former five division champions. Good books? Floyd had initially revealed his intention. Only on social media, however, after several misinterpretations from boxing fans and professionals, the 50 0 boxing legend decided to go live. He had earlier posted an old picture of himself and Richard Schieffer on Instagram, adding a caption that contained details of the decision to part ways with Leonard Ellerby Mayweather Promotions. Would like to extend our deepest gratitude to Leonard Ellerby for his exceptional leadership and unwavering dedication over the years. The Instagram post read Leonard has been an integral part of our team, contributing to numerous business endeavors that have played a pivotal role in the success of Mayweather Promotions.